Hello there, my fellow drug enthusiasts. Welcome to the Drugs Queen and King show. I am Ronalyn Velarde, and on behalf of my partner, Therese Alonso, I will be your host for today. So let us not wait any longer. I welcome you, a classification of chemotherapeutic agent, the antiviral drugs for herpes and cytomegalovirus. Hello, Ron. Thank you for inviting me to your show. It's an honor for me to be here. It is such an honor to be having you here too. How are you? I'm just having an excellent time treating people with herpes and cytomegalovirus. That's great to hear. Shall we start? Yes, of course. Great! So for the first question, as an antiviral drug, what are the drugs under you? Well, there are actually lots of them. There's acyclovir, sidoflovir, fomciclovir, viscarnet, gaciclovir, valaciclovir, and valganciclovir. You can see their brand names on the right side. May I know your drug classification? Sure. Well, for the therapeutic classification, I am used to inhibit the viral DNA replication by competing with viral substrates to form shorter, non-effective DNA chains. And we all know that I'm pharmacologically classified as an antiviral. Splendid! So I have heard that you are categorized according to your effects on pregnant women. So what's yours? Yes, that's right. My pregnancy category is B, which means that animal reproduction studies have failed to demonstrate a risk to the fetus and there are no adequate and well-controlled studies in pregnant women when using me. That's interesting. So what is your mechanism of action in the body or how do you work in the body? I basically act to prevent the replication of the virus but has little effect on the host cells of humans because human cells use different substrates. That sure is something. So how does your body respond to you or what is your pharmacokinetics? I am, as an acyclovir is given orally or parenterally and is well absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract with peak levels within 1 hour and has a half-life of 2.5 to 5 hours. But if I am used as a sidoflover, I am usually administered through IV infusion in which it reaches peak levels at the end of infusion from system within 15 minutes. I am, as a famsticlover, is administered orally and is well absorbed from GI tract reaching the peak levels in 2 to 3 hours. Me, as a foscarnet, is available in IV form only, which reaches peak levels at the end of infusion and has a half life of 4 hours. If I am administered as a gansiclover, I am usually available in IV and oral form, which has a slow onset and levels at 1 hour if given intravenously and 2 to 4 hours if given orally. Me as a valaciclover is given orally and is rapidly absorbed from the GI tract. And I as a valganciclover is given orally and is rapidly absorbed which reaches peak levels in 3 hours. I am well distributed throughout the body and I usually cross the placenta and enters the breast milk which exposes neonate to high levels of drugs. I am metabolized extensively in the liver and I am excreted in diarrhea and feces. May I know your indications and contraindications? I am indicated for the treatment of the DNA viruses herpes simplex, herpes zoster, and the cytomegalovirus. I am also effective in immunocompromised individuals like patients with AIDS and multiple infections. I am contraindicated to pregnancy and lactation. I am also contraindicated to those patients who are allergic towards me, those with renal impairment, and with severe CNS disorders because I can affect the CNS, causing headache, neuropathy, parenthesis, confusion, and hallucinations. Me as a sidoflover has been proven to be embryotoxic in animals, and I have to be used with caution in children with AIDS because of the potential carcinogenic effects and its effects on fertility. Me as a foster net has been shown to affect bone development and growth. I have heard that you have some adverse effects in the body. What are these? So my adverse effects for the nervous system is that I can cause headache, 
depression, parenthesis, and neuropathy. I can cause nausea and vomiting for the gastrointestinal system. For the integumentary system, I can cause rash, inflammation, and burning sensation. For the genitourinary system, I can cause renal dysfunction and failure. E as acidophover is associated with severe renal toxicity and granulocytopenia. As a gansiclover and a valgansiclover is associated with bone marrow suppression. What are the nursing responsibilities that nurses do before, during, and after that you are administered in the body? Before administration, the nurse should assess patients receiving me for contraindications or cautions or any history of allergy towards me, those with renal dysfunctions, severe CNS disorders, and pregnancy and lactation. The nurse should also perform physical assessment as well as she have to assess orientation and reflexes. The nurse should also examine skin color, temperature, and lashes and evaluate renal function tests. The nursing diagnoses that are related to my application as a drug therapy include the following. Acute pain related to GI, CNS or local effects of the drug, disturbed sensory perception or kinesthetic related to CNS effect of the drug, and deficient knowledge regarding drug therapy. For the planning phase, the nurse will make sure that the patient will receive the best therapeutic effect from the drug therapy. The patient will have limited adverse effect to the drug therapy, and the patient will have an understanding of the drug therapy, adverse effects to anticipate, and measure to relieve discomfort and improve safety. During implementation, the nurse should administer me as soon as possible after the diagnosis has been made. The nurse should also ensure good hydration and that the patient takes the complete course of the drug regimen. The nurse should wear protective gloves when applying the drug topically. And she should provide safety precautions like use of side rails, appropriate lighting, orientation, and assistance if CNS effects occur. The nurse should also warn the patient that GI upset, nausea, and vomiting can occur. And she should monitor renal function tests periodically during treatment. She should instruct the patient about me and provide the following patient teaching. Avoid sexual intercourse if genital herpes is being treated because this does not cure the disease. The patient should wear protective gloves when applying topical agents and avoid driving and hazardous tasks if dizziness occurs. After administration, the nurse should monitor the patient's response to the drug. If there are elevating signs and symptoms of the herpes or the cytomegalovirus infection, the nurse should also monitor for adverse effects like the orientation and effect, GI upset, and renal function. She should also evaluate effectiveness of her teaching plan and monitor the effectiveness of comfort measures and compliance with the regimen. Wow, I have learned so many things with this one-on-one interview. Thank you so much for gracing this show with your presence. It is my greatest pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. I hope that our viewers too have acquired information that are useful in taking me as a drug regimen. And I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching guys!